strong earthquake striking Mexico today. It comes less than a week after a 7.1 magnitude quake killed at least 295 people. Jonathan Hunt joins us live from Mexico City with the very latest on the rescue efforts there. Hi, Jonathan. What can you tell us? Liz, good morning. It was a very rude awakening for the people of Mexico City this morning, a city that is obviously still very much on edge following Tuesday's huge earthquake. The alarm sounded here at 7.55 this morning, and a lot of high-rise buildings, including our hotel, were immediately evacuated. Ultimately, there were no reports of further damage here in Mexico City. This quake this morning uh, was centered about 300 miles south in Oaxaca, we are getting reports of damage there. Meanwhile, back here in Mexico City, the search and rescue operations continue, including this one behind me here. This was an office building that collapsed, and as you look at the rescue workers on top of that pile of rubble now, they are making their way through what was the ceiling of the fourth floor. It is believed that there were a lot of people working on that fourth floor. At the time of the earthquake, there are still many people unaccounted for from this building, so they are hoping, almost against hope, that they may yet find a survivor. But we are obviously uh, reaching the end of the period where people could be expected to survive. Some of the uh, search and rescue operations have, in fact, now been wrapped up. We were at one at a textile factory yesterday uh, when they obviously decided there were no more signs of life. There was an emotional moment when all the hundreds of workers who had been digging there gathered together removed their hard hats, sang in unison the national anthem, and then this musical tribute to those who had lost their lives. Listen here. Now, Liz, veteran rescue workers will tell you that in these kind of conditions, the limit that anybody could be expected to survive is about four days, 96 hours. We are just two hours away from reaching that point. So while these workers behind me continue to hope that they may find survivors, clearly every minute that passes makes it less and less likely. Right. Liz? Oh, Jonathan, that's a tough story. Thank you so much for bringing it to us. We appreciate it.